take the opportunity while she's lying prone like this to have a look at the Achilles tendon. So first thing, we get a nice side-by-side -side comparison. So is there any obvious swelling or thickness, classically in the mid portion or around the insertion? So both of those tendons look normal. We then palpate the tendon, looking for any tenderness, bearing in mind that they're generally an uncomfortable structure to, to palpate. We then can do a squeeze test. So we squeeze Martine's calf, and we can see her foot moves into a plantar flex position. If the Achilles tendon is ruptured, we'd expect no movement in the foot, and we may palpate a defect in the tendon. So while we're doing that with her feet over the end of the bed, another good position to do that in is with her knees flexed to 90 degrees. So squeeze test on both sides. And the other thing we can do is directly compare the resting position of both of those feet. So if she's ruptured her Achilles tendon, we'd expect to lose some of that plantar flexion and we'd see an asymmetry between the two sides. So this is a good opportunity to assess the Achilles tendon.